Hello. Uh, documented uh, many times, both for facial features. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are we? I find this blurred background really strange. <laughs> Let's turn it off. <laughs> I feel like it's like really weird. Spinning me out. Uh... Alrighty, so we are going to today talk all about um, automation. I'm going to show you some quick things that you can do to put more tasks on autopilot and also to make some more sales. I'm going to give it just one minute for a couple more people to come in and then we will get sales, get ourselves going. I'm also just going to pull up my slides uh, while waiting for everyone else as well. Now, if you guys have any questions, things that you would like us to answer um, in today's session, please drop them in the comments or in the chat area. Uh, we'll come through and answer any questions that you guys have, any particular features you would love us to touch on today. Please feel free to ask. Um, otherwise, I'm going to take you over to uh, this presentation. Now, I'm not going to go through 10 ways to automate your business today depending on time um, we are going to go through probably um, about five or so of these today all right are we ready to hit record we are okay so welcome to today's session on how to automate some of your tasks and get yourself maybe a little bit more income a bit more leads coming through without you having to do too much more work. Hello, I'm Sarah Cordner. I'm the CEO of Techmatics. Uh, we're gonna show you how to use some different features on the Techmatics platform today to scale without the pain and without having to do more stuff. So um, what I recommend we do first to save time, to save money, to save all of the admin work in our business is to turn on our AI assistant bots. Most of us are spending up to 75% of our day just responding to messages and incoming inquiries. Imagine if you can get all that time back by having a robot do it for you. And if you're using Techmatics, you already have this feature inside your account. So you're going to turn this feature on, right? This bad boy here, literally will reply to all of your SMSs, your Instagram messengers, your Facebook messages, your Google business profile messages, and your live chat box messages from your website. Imagine the time that this is going to save you. It also will book appointments for you as well. So if you've created a calendar, uh, this is for free discovery calls, paid appointments, your bot is also going to direct your uh, incoming customer inquiries to book a call with you. How good is that? So this is going to basically be your free virtual assistant. You don't need to pay thousands of dollars to staff. Get your staff working on more important things and more in-depth customer service, right? Let's turn it on. You're going to go into your Techmatics account. And on the bottom of your menu, you have a little option called settings. And inside your settings, you have something called conversation AI. I'm going to make this a bit bigger for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, you have here this uh, option called autopilot. This means that your bot is turned on and it's going to automatically respond to incoming inquiries for you. So you're going to want to turn the autopilot on. Next, you're going to click on all of the channels that you want your bot to respond to people on. So do you want it to reply to SMSs, Google Business Profile, Facebook, Instagram, chat widgets, live chat, all of them? Of course you do. Turn them all on. And that's going to get your bot responding on all of those platforms. Okay, a couple of other things we're going to do in this section. You'll note here we've got a little bit of a sub menu where you've got your bot settings, your bot trial. This is where you're going to test whether it's working. Your bot training. This is where you're going to give it your website URL so it learns everything about your business in seconds. Uh, and then we have another option to uh, configure the way that your bot replies to people. So at the moment, we're just sitting in this bot settings menu and we've chosen that we want it on, where we want it to reply to everybody on. And then we want to decide a couple of things such as how long will we wait before the bot replies? Do you want it to be an instantaneous reply? Um, do you want to wait a few seconds between that person messaging you and you replying so it doesn't look too much like it's a bot? And how many messages do you want the bot to send 
before it stops and waits for a human to take over. All of these things are completely and utterly up to you, but that's where you can choose those settings. I normally wait around five seconds after someone's messaged me for my bot to reply. Um, and you might want to sort of set anything from three to 10 uh, responses between your bot and the individual before the bot will stop. OK, so that's up to you. That's where you set it. Of course, we're going to press save after editing anything. Now I want to take you to bot training. So click on the sub menu called bot training. And this is where we are going to enter your website URL. Your website URL is basically going to be copied and pasted into this box. Your bot will crawl your whole website and then your bot is literally going to know how to reply to pretty much all incoming inquiries. So I'll just go and grab, you know, my, my website domain over here. Let's just go sarahcordner.com. Now, my website is absolutely enormous because it's about 13, 15 years old or something crazy like that. So it's um, mine's going to take a lot longer than what a newer website might. But you basically pop your URL in here, you press get data. And what it will start doing now is start scraping and scanning and crawling your whole website. Um, I say to select the all URLs in this domain, because then it's going to literally grab every single page that's on your website. Now, mine will take uh, probably three or four minutes because this is a big, big website with hundreds of pages on it. Um, if you've got a small website, you know, with 10 or less pages, this is going to take seconds. But what it will do now is it will say fetching pages for a while and then we'll just say done and then it will be trained. Just like that within minutes. The other part of this training section here is to also give your bot customized responses to very specific questions that your audience might ask. So this is, for instance, are there particular questions, frequently asked questions that you get asked over and over again that you want to make sure a very specific answer is given to? If so, you can add unlimited Q&As or facts, frequently asked questions here. So what you do is just press add a fact. What's the question? And this might be, you know, how much is your so-and-so program? When does the next round of X program begin? How much are your so-and-so services? How do I get a quote? Uh, whatever it is that you do, you can pop in all of your Q&As here, simply press save, and your bot will continuously be trained by this. So whatever questions you get asked over and over again, put them all here. The more you give your bot, the better it's going to get at responding on your behalf. And over time, it does improve as well. Now, um, I'm not going to wait for mine to load here because my website is so big and I've got tons of more stuff to show you. But as soon as this finish, finished loading, finished loading, oops, hang on, finishes loading, um, will be just, I just need to press done here. And that's it. The bot will be live. Absolutely amazing. Any questions on the bot? I've just said, yeah, I've got some questions that have popped up here. So let me just check here. Um, uh, Aaron said, I'm assuming you can only have one bot. So if you've got multiple businesses running on Techmatics, you'll have to decide which to use. So yes, you can only have one bot that's responding to the channels. If you have multiple businesses under one Techmatics account, then I would recommend um, giving it in the frequently asked questions a number of responses based on the business name or keyword. So um, Aaron, if you don't mind me using you as an example, um, Aaron, for instance, has a fitness business. He also has a first aid training company. So if you have multiple businesses like this in the frequently asked questions section, I would have a question like how much is fitness training? And the answer will be for all fitness training inquiries please go here and then put the fitness training website if somebody says you know how much is the first aid training when, when is your next first aid course running the answer will be for all first aid related businesses uh, inquiries please go to this website so that you're basically using your bot to be kind of the separator of all of those different inquiries and um, filtering them through to where they need to go um, it could even be that you can have calendar links inside those specific Q&A questions that will take each inquiry for each business to each business's calendar 
and or website. So that's just a couple of ways you can get around that. For those of you who also don't know, if you do have multiple businesses, we do have a special offer if you want to have multiple Techmatics accounts. So we do do a very special deal on any second account or beyond that will allow you guys to have a much cheaper secondary account for secondary businesses. So if you want more info on that, just send us a message on support at techmatics.com. So there's one way that you can gain almost 75% of your day back alone. I mean, if that's not already worth your 97 bucks a month for Techmatics, I don't know what is. But I've got a lot more for you, obviously, because the next way for you to quickly make some money and to do that with a little boost every 90 days is to set up an automation that sends out every 90 days that I call an automated activation email. And you'll see here, I've got an example, and I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger for you so that you can see this. Um, but basically, what you're going to do inside your email builder, uh, you go into the emails builder, build an email and call it activation email 90 days. And it's going to have one line in it. Now, this is actually a market tested marketing strategy that is shown to have one of the highest engagement and response rates that there is out there for an email. Um, I believe Jim Ron calls this the nine word email and it has massive conversion in terms of uh, getting that engagement and conversation going. So I want you to think of it. What, what do you do for people? What is the end result? What is it that they are trying to achieve? So for example, you're going to say, hi, first name. Are you still thinking about and then whatever it is that you do, are you still thinking, in my example, I'd be like, are you still thinking about creating an online course? Or are you still thinking about losing 10 kilos? Are you still thinking about, um, you know, scaling your business with Facebook ads? Whatever it is that is the result that you give them, you're going to stick that in this little box here. Hey, first name, are you still thinking about whatever result you give people? Question mark, leave it at that. Nothing else. Just send that out and stick it in a workflow that goes out every 90 days. I'm going to show you how to do this in just a second. And um, what this does is creates the response. People are going to reply to you. This obviously increases your validation on the email service providers as well. But it starts creating this conversation. You can also go into your stats, see how many people opened that email and read it. And it's going to tell you which one of those people are actually warm leads. For those that clicked and opened this email, I would even consider sending an SMS campaign to those people that opened it because they wouldn't have opened it if they weren't interested in still creating a course or doing the ads or whatever it is that you help them do, right? So this can be a really smart way to just set this on autopilot to repeat every 90 days. Because let's face it, you know, 90 days goes past quite quickly, something that might have been on my to-do list now, I'm still thinking about doing in 90 days. You come along and remind me and I'm like, oh man, I should probably just call Harry back and get that done right now, right? I just, okay, you've reminded me, let's do this. It's amazing how these little reminders are massive conversion points in your business. So let me show you how you do this. Very quickly, we are going to, first of all, go to our email builder, click on marketing, Go to emails, email builder. We always build the email first in builder. We're then going to find our master template. So in the search box, type in master, find our master template that should have your unsubscribe buttons. It should have your business address. If you don't know how to set up your master template to adhere to the compliance requirements of sending emails, please go to the Techmatics website, sorry, not website, YouTube channel go to the emails playlists and there is a training on there showing you exactly how to set up your master email template so that it meets the requirements of your sending regulations by having the right unsubscribe links and information in your footers. But assuming you've done that, we are now going to go to our master template, click on the three little dots and press clone because we're copying our master instead of having to rebuild it every time, right? We build the master once, we just duplicate it every time we send an email. And this is where we're gonna just call this the um, 90 day activation email activation email 90 days, whatever name you want to call it, but that's what I suggest you call it for this example. Press clone. This is going to give us our little build. And this is where you're going to pop in your nine word question. Okay. So um, in here, it's just going to say, hi, 
And then we're going to put in our contact first name. Click in the box. See this little, uh, it looks like a cursor hovering over a box. It's called custom values. Click on that and press contact first name. That's going to pre-fill the contact's first name for you. And then your nine word email. Are you still thinking about, and then whatever your thing is, creating an online course, running Facebook ads, losing weight, becoming a better leader, whatever it is that you do. And then you're just going to put Sarah, your name from you. Okay. Don't overcomplicate this email. The magic of this email is in its simplicity. Okay. Hit save. So we have built it in the builder. But because this is going to be, remember, we're creating an automation, we want this email to repeatedly go out every 90 days. There's a, two ways we can do this. One is in automations. One is setting it up inside the campaigns. I'm going to show you how to do it in an automation today instead of in the campaign section. Um, let me go back. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do some campaigns as well. Let's go to campaigns. So email builder is where you build it. Campaigns is where you send it. So now we are inside the campaigns area. We need to find that email that we've just written. And we're going to just type in activation email. And Oh, sorry. My apologies. I have to press new. <laughs> I have to press new and then find the email. We're going to send a new campaign. And the email that we're sending is called the activation email. Tick. That's the right one. And it's gonna give us one last chance to edit it if we want to. Click on the big blue send or schedule button and you should be able to do repeating schedule. Will it let us repeat that or do we have to do it in RSS? Da -da -da -da. Okay, now I'm gonna do this in automations because unless you're putting an RSS feed in here monthly, so you can let us do monthly emails from there. So please ignore that step because you can only send it monthly. And I want to send this every 90 days, which is why I'm going to use automated workflows. So we've built the email and builder. We're now going to go to automated workflows, create a workflow, start from scratch. And we're going to give this our name first of all. And our name is, remember, the 90 day activation email. So let's go into the new workflow title up here. Always name them first. 90 day activation email. Okay. And we are not going to put a trigger on this for now, but we're going to press add an action and we're going to send an email. So over here, type in email, click send an email. Then we're gonna scroll down to templates and we're gonna select that template we just built. So type in activation email, 90 days, there it is. So now just make sure that it's got the name that you want it to have, the from email you want it to have. The subject should be, are you still thinking about, and then whatever your question was, okay? Are you still thinking about blah, 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 creating a course, running ads, da, da, da. And you press save. Okay, so now it's going to send them an email. We're going to manually add everyone to this automation, by the way. Um, email, and then we're going to press add a step. We're going to press wait. We're going to wait for 90 days. So we're going to wait for 90 days. Time delay of 90 days. So we wait for a time delay of 90 days. Press save. And all we want to do now is just put this on a loop. So what happens? We wait for 90 days and then we're going to loop them back again. So under this action, I'm going to press another add an action in the action search bar. I'm going to type in go and find this action called go to click. And I'm going to press save. And now it's going to say, where do you want to go to? I want to go back to the email. So you see now if it makes the time a bit bigger for you, here's what happens. They get sent an email saying, are you still thinking about creating an online course? Wait there for 90 days. And then do, 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 they get sent back to here and get the email again. And then they wait for 90 days and then they get sent back to the top again. So it just goes around in this forever loop. 
And that's how you can completely put this on autopilot, potentially bringing in yourself more sales, more sales conversations every 90 days by setting this up once and never having to do anything again. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Now, I said I wasn't going to add a trigger this time round, but if you're going to set this up now and have this as a thing, you might want to actually have your trigger as every time a new contact or every time you have a contact created. So if you click on add a trigger, click on contact created, press save. Every time a new contact is added to your CRM, they will be put into this pipeline. They'll be put into this automation. So what you wanna do today is then go into your contacts lists and add everyone who's already in your database. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, you need to press save and you'll need to press publish, okay? It won't work unless you press publish. So by the way, what I'm about to show you, my activate, my automation probably won't show up because I haven't published it. But I'm gonna go to my contacts to now add my database to this. Now I've got a pretend list of, of contacts here. Go into your contacts. And then you're gonna select all. Press this button on the top corner and then you'll need to click the blue button. If you've got more than 20 contacts, it will say select all 5,000 contacts or however many you've got, press that. So it will now say you have selected all records and then you're going to add them to a workflow. These are your bulk actions at the top here. There's a little picture of a robot. It says add to workflow. And then it will say, yep, yeah, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And it will say, what workflow do you want to add them to? Now, mine might not show up because I didn't um, I didn't publish it. But if I had published that workflow, it would show up here. Remember, I called it the activation workflow. Um, that would show here if it was published. OK, so let's pretend that was the activation one. You're going to select it. This action description is a note that goes on the client's record. So I'm just going to say something like added to the activation email 90 days every 90 days it's just a note that goes on the client's record for you basically then you press add to campaign workflow and all of those people will now be added to your 90 day reminder workflow how good is that and because we've added a trigger to it to every new contact gets added to that workflow that is now completely done set and forget for good bing automated sales baby who's loving it Loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> all right. So, so far we've turned on our AI bot assistant who's going to answer all of our incoming inquiries for us and book calls on our behalf. We've also turned on a repeating 90-day activation email so that we can boost our sales on autopilot every quarter. Now we're going to make sure that we have got our paid calendar appointments turned on. And this is the part where I'm now going to bring in Nat, our amazing tech expert, because we have a calendar announcement. We actually have some new calendar features that have just been released. If you have not yet set up free or paid calendar appointments, please get this done. You can hire our tech experts for just 50 bucks for an hour and they will sit there with you on a Zoom call and get your calendars connected and set up so that you can take payments to get coaching calls done. Um, they look like this, exactly like Calendly or Acuity, except you get unlimited appointments on Techmatics accounts for unlimited staff. You can see here a visual of what these ones look like. And you can see here as well on my website um, that people can, you can embed your whole selection of appointment types on your website, as well as having links to your calendar on a link tree, for instance. If I was to just take you guys now to my my real website to my contact page. I want to show you this in action so that you can see just how much you can begin to automate the process of people being able to book calls with you without you having to have this ping pong. And the fact of you then having your AI bot turned on, your bot is going to direct people to these calendars on your behalf. So you'll see here on my contact page, here are all the different kinds of consults or done with you services or uh, one on ones that people can book. These are all directly inside my Techmatics calendars. So the whole thing's automated and my bot is able to manage these as well. So that 
is super easy to set up. If you need help, just go to the Tech Maddox website and book a um, paid call with the tech expert for an hour. They can get this all up and running on your behalf with you there. So you're learning it too. But I'm now going to hand over to Nat because we have some new calendar features. Are you there, Nat? She's still there. Yeah, I am. Sorry. Let me just turn on my video. Okay. I'm going to unpin me. Sorry. Here we go. Yep. And I will Wait, just. Nat, what are our new calendar features? What can we do now that we couldn't do before? Yeah, got it. So this has been really requested by our uh, mostly clients who are in the services space type of industry. So let me just maybe switch over to my uh, demo account quick. So we can now create services based calendar that you can uh, maybe use for basically businesses in hair, uh, hair salons, uh, like dog uh, grow, uh, grooming and stuff like that. So I'll just maybe share my screen so you can see clearly what I mean with that. And yep, so I'm currently on my demo. Let me just head over to my uh, calendars quick. And this is the new calendar feature that we got currently. So we now have services-based uh, type of calendars where you can create group of services on your TechMedics account uh, to add your services-based appointments. So I have here already set up something, but I'll just add a category so I can show you step-by-step step on how it's done. But it's not, for example, we have a category for nails. For example, you are running a salon type of business and you have this sort of like different like services. You have nails, you have locks. Maybe I'll add brows in a bit so I can show you step by step on how it's, how it's done but usually for the booking uh, for the booking sequence and how it's like set up let's have for example if I'll book in a nail service for soft gel like for example nail extension I'll just click on book and after I book that I can just definitely just continue and like complete my booking but I can definitely add more services to it so it's have for example aside from having a soft gel extension I also want to have a pedicure and also, I will also have to maybe have a uh, under arm wax. So once it's done, it's, it will just add all of these like appointments. And it will total into what whatever the total total amount for the services is, and what will be the uh, the complete duration of the service. After you will click on continue, it will show you the breakdown of the services that you have booked with the total amount you're going to pay and the total duration of the services to be done. And then when you click on confirm, people can just automatically choose whatever time slot they want to book and automatically it will book them into one hour and 30 minutes for the total duration of the service booked. And also this individual calendar is actually individual calendars that you have to set your actual availability. So system can just basically um, like track on the back end what are the total availability for those said services? And it will sh show people or show contact or show your clients what are the next available times for the service. So for my end, I have available time for the uh for Wednesday, like on the seven. And let's have for example, I'll book in for uh for the noon. I'm currently on Asia time zone, that's why it's showing 9 a.m. on my end. So I'll click on continue and it will show you this breakdown on what are the services you booked. What are the time would be duration and people can just pay from here. So this is the new uh like um update with the calendar for the services based industry. So I'll show you step by step on how you could are uh, going to do it. I love it. Now, while you're just bringing that open, um, yeah. this is obviously I assume can be used by fitness trainers, PTs, mm -hmm. by um even restaurants and things that want to have table bookings and mm -hmm. and events even. So yeah. you know we've got a lot of clients such as chambers of commerce who mm -hmm. are running events and gala dinners and they want to sell tables of ten for the gala dinner. So you know just because we've used an example here for a beautician or a hairdresser, this applies to any kind of service that people want to choose multiple different services for in multiple different times with multiple different staff or classes that might be running at the same time so this is extremely yeah. versatile um, and I'm super excited about this now so show us how would we set one up uh, you know let's pretend here we've also got some hairdressing or something in our salon um, how can we add multiple different services okay got it so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to create your calendar first. As you can see, these are the individual calendars I created earlier 
for different like groups. So I have group for nails. Let me just switch over to groups. I have a group for nails. I have a group for wax. Let's have, for example, let's create a group for brows. So I'll type in browse quick so I can label it as browse. You can put in your description here and then you can put in your uh, unique slug. So I'll just put in whatever like, you know, a slug that I can create. And that's basically it. So I already created a browse like uh, group in there. So what I'm going to do is I will create the individual uh, like service on the calendar. So just click on create calendar on the top right. And then choose service calendars. This is where we're going to create a service. So just click on select and name your uh name your exact service. So let's have for example for the brow group, I'll create a brow lamination type of uh like uh like service calendar. So I'll just call it maybe brow lamination. And you can put in your description if you want, and then you can choose whatever staff members. So if you have, for example, if you're running a clinic and you have like multiple staff member you can also add them into your account so you can just choose them as a staff member and they can also set up their availability so the calendar will also match up their availability so i'll just choose myself in for example and then in here another like you need slug so i'll just move uh call it brow lamination and then for the service duration and how long this is going to take so for example me i'll just put it as 30 minutes and you can definitely accept payments so for payments, you have the option to choose like different currency. Uh, in my case, maybe I'll just label it as $50. And you can just go ahead and reach advanced settings to fully set up your uh, calendar with its own availability, its own connection, and the customization. So here, when I scroll down, you have the option to like put in the description. And then the very important thing is to add them to the group that we just created. So in my case, I'll add them to browse. And then custom URL is all set. And then appointment by title, that would be all good. I'll just click on save. And after that, you can set your individual availability for this time. So whatever availability you've set by the staff members under like TechMedics profile will automatically map into the availability set for the uh, services for your characters. So just put in the uh, duration for the service. And if you have some buffer time, just set any buffer time that you want. But in my case, I'll just move, uh, put it as 15 like buffer time. You can also set a minimum scheduling notice if you don't want to deal with last minute clients. So in my case, I want to have a one day minimum scheduling notice for the booking. And after that, you can just click on save. And then for the forms and payments, we can definitely use the default like forms uh, that's currently inside the system that only asks for the first name, last name, phone number, and email. But if you're a services base and you want to collect more information about maybe their current status, what are their current maybe hair types, what are their current like maybe problems with their nails, with their brows and stuff like that, you can definitely create a customizable form. So cre to create a customizable form, let me just try to maybe duplicate this page first. Uh, what you're going to do is you need to head over to your sites, forms, and create your customizable form that you need to attach it to the calendar if you want to collect more data aside from first name, last name, phone number, and email before they can book in a call with you. So you can collect more data from the clients on what their current, like, you know, what their current trouble is. So you can, like, you know, maybe get ready uh, with the service before the appointment. So what you're going to do is you need to head over to websites and funnels, forms, and go to form builder. Let me just create a new form for now. So I'll just start from scratch. Um... So for example, you can definitely have like different forms for like different like calendars, right? So for nails, you can definitely ask specific questions for nails. But in my end, since we're dealing with brows, maybe I'll just maybe create a custom field to ask them about their brow preferences and stuff like that. So what you're going to do, you can just add a custom field and add your specific question about uh what you want to collect data from like you know for this exact service. So for example, uh current. Uh, maybe preferred uh preferred brow styles or maybe what's your preferred maybe let's ask this question what is your preferred brow style and then your client can just fill in what is their preferred uh preferred 
uh, browse style into the placeholder or into the uh, like the field. And I'll just click on save. After you've done the custom fields, I'll just maybe put it, uh, do some quick refresh and I'll type in the custom field that I added. Move that custom field in here and don't forget to rename your form so it will be easier for you to find it onto the calendar. So maybe I'll call it Rao Appointment. Uh, appointment. And then you can just click on Save. And that's it. So that's how you customize your form. So you can add in like multiple questions if you want, whatever question you want to ask before the, like the appointment. And then after that, I'll just head back to my calendar. I'll see if it will automatically maybe get me the data for the form. It's not in there yet. So let me just do a quick refresh. Uh, brow. Oh, I might need to refresh my calendar. So let me just try to maybe reload my screen quick. Uh, I'll just, okay, let me just go back to forms and payments. Browse. Oh, here we go. So this is the customized form I created earlier. So instead of using the default form, you can definitely embed a customized form into your like for uh bookings, and then you can just scroll down and update this uh thank you message that will pop up after appointment. Uh, you have to maybe be um like uh you have to make sure that you will update this one if you don't want your contact phone number to be showing up into the thank you message. So if you don't want to have your thing, uh, your phone number to show up into your, like you know the thank you page, you can just take out this exact like stuff right here, or you can maybe just change it into maybe please email us at email us at na at techmatics .com. If you want them to maybe email you instead of calling you, you can also have that option. But you can definitely if you want to, people to like call you, you can still like you know you can um switch over to the default thank you message set in there. If you're running Facebook ads, you can also put in your Pixel ID so you can gather um, event from this exact booking. Payment is already turned on. You can also change your payment, like whatever like amount you want to like uh, collect. And then you can just click on save. So it will be directed to notification and additional option. For the notification and additional option, this is where we're going to set the automatic uh, acknowledgement email that will be sent, sent out after someone book the call with you. But if you have your uh, custom workflows for appointments and bookings, these are not necessary because it will just provide double uh, double up like emails to them for the confirmation for the booking because we already set it to the workflow. And also workflows are actually better to be used for the um, confirmation and reminder because aside from notifying them for the confirmation of the uh, booking, it will also send them reminders about the booking. So yeah, so I'll just maybe skip the acknowledgement, but if you prefer to have it this way, you can also turn this on. Um, It will just uh, give them the confirmation dates and the like time, the location for the meeting. So, and that's also can be done in the workflow. So I'm just keeping that part. And then you can just toggle on calendar invites if you want them to add this booking into their calendars. And then if you did not uh, if you will not allow rescheduling for the appointments because that's basically a waste of money you can also turn this off and you can also turn off canceling for the appointment and so they can maybe just contact you first for canceling but if it's fine you can just turn this on so yeah and then click on save after that the customization this is where you're going to set your primary color into the u of the calendar that will show up into the actual booking so for example, in this exact calendar, when I go back, the the default uh the default calendar U is the blue one that is currently a default like color for the primary color. But you can definitely have your own like primary color. You can just put in your actual hex code or you can just head over to this like panel right here and choose whatever color you want to choose. So I'll just choose pink. And then after that, these are all the stuff that you can maybe toggle on. You could also change the scheduled meeting button into something else. And most importantly, the top service cover image are actually the images that you can see on the services page. So let me just maybe try to go back. Hang on. Let me just try to maybe refresh this page. So whatever image you set into your customization um, service cover image will, will be the image that will show up into the selection of your services. So if you have some branded images, um, like, you know, currently ready with your branded logo and stuff like that, you can use that. 
you can just click on upload and upload it from your computer or you can also use our unsplash like media these are free sources of like images that can be found on our media library so what so just switch over from media into unsplash and just type in any keywords that you want to like you know you do what you that you want to show your image for so for example in my case i'll just type in browse and let's have for example this one so this will be the cover image that will show up into, into my services menu after you've done that you can just click on save and you just created your first service calendar for your service so i'll just save that one and after you've done that, make sure that that exact calendar is added to the group that you created. And then what you need to do next is you need to head over to service menu and you have to click on edit and make sure to add the, hang on, let me just try to find that one quick. I think it's on the select services. So let me maybe show you the services uh, part. You can label your service menu here by naming it into maybe your business name. You can put in a quick description. And for the content uh, checkbox, you can also update it if you want. And then it will require the unique URL slugs. So in my case, I just put in a company name. And then the confirmation page, again, that this has the contact information for the phone number. You can just switch it off if you don't want it. And then after you've done that, you can just click on save. So it will be redirected to the, select, uh, to the services page. So in my case, I added previously the wax and the nails since I created the browse. So I'll just add it in now. And then you have the option, for example, for wax. If you, for example, for that exact, like maybe like um, time frame, uh, the, under, uh, the underarm wax is unavailable. You can just take it off from the services menu and you can just turn it on while uh, when it's available. And after you've done, uh, I mean, you added all the services page, you can just click on save. And on the last tab of your services page, you have the option to arrange your services from like different, like, you know, from different uh, like arrangement. And since we're already done, I'll just click on save and that services should be added now into my calendar service page. So I'll just maybe give this a quick refresh. And when I scroll down, we now have the browse option available now. So yeah, so that's basically how you create your service calendar. So, uh, and here on top, we have like different categories where people can just switch over from one uh, from one server to another and it will be redirected, redirected to the actual like booking like section. Yeah. And for Absolutely the- Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. And for the appointments and bookings, if you have already like your current workflows for the reminders and confirmation, that will just work fine with the services. You can just do the same process on adding your appointments or calendars into the workflows. So yeah, Love it. this mm -hmm. is a super exciting update. And I think it's going to be a big game changer, especially for local businesses and service providers. So thank you, Nat, for the update on that. Very exciting. And don't forget, if you guys want help doing all this, remember, you can hire our tech experts for just $50 to help you set all this stuff up on your account. So I've got a couple more things that I want to share with you for about the next sort of 15 minutes or so, uh, just to give you some more things to add to your to-do list. <laughs> to keep you growing, keep you scaling and giving you more little opportunities to make more money in your business. So if you have just joined us, we've turned on our AI bot assistants to answer our incoming inquiries and book calls for us. We've created a repeating 90 day activation email that automatically creates sales conversations with our audience. We also have created paid calendars to make sure that we have the opportunity to get leads booked in for discovery calls, sales calls, or indeed paid calls for our coaching or consulting services. The next thing you want to do to put this business of yours on autopilot is to create this thing called a link tree. If you haven't created a link page yet, please put this on your to-do list today. This is a link to a page that lists all of your links in one place so that people can easily buy from you, opt into your mailing list, cross promote all of your social media channels. And this is simply a web page that we have a template for you on Techmatics that goes in all of your social media bios. So if I bring you here to my real Facebook page over here, inside your bios, you should have um, your, oh, I wasn't going live, there we go. You should have some kind of links in your bio. And you'll see here, I've got one that's sarahcord.com forward slash links. When they click on that, it takes them to 
into, you've guessed it, my link tree, which you've guessed it, is hosted in Techmatics. And here's an example of just some of the things you might include in a link tree. They can email you directly. That would take them straight to opening an email message. Um, they can opt into your free stuff and your mailing list. They can go and check out all of your other social media channels. They can buy your coaching programs book a call with you on your calendar you've just created and uh, and so much more. You can add all your free training and things. You, this unlimited what you can add to your page and how you can customize it, how you brand it and everything else. So um, there is a separate training on our YouTube channel on how to create your link page on Techmatics, but you do have a template already made for you inside your account. To find it, you're just going to go to marketing and emails. Um, sorry, apologies, websites and funnels. Underneath your funnels section, just type in link and you'll find in there that you have some link tree templates. So click on that, that box there and you should find at least two link tree templates inside your account. All you're going to do is open it up, press edit, and that will allow you to go and change the colors, add your links, make it yours. And that tutorial on Linktree um, on our YouTube channel will show you how to do that. Your next step will then be, of course, to take that URL and make sure that you have added your Linktree link to every single one of your social media bios. You will be amazed at the increase in traffic, leads, followings that you get when people can actually go to one place to see all of your links and everything you have on offer. Way too many of us leave guesswork to our audience. We think they know what we do. <laughs> they, I, It blows my mind how many people's profiles I go to to try and see what their services are or what their products are that they sell. And I just can't find any link anywhere to buy stuff from them. And I end up going somewhere else because we just make it too hard for our customers, right? Make it easy, add a link tree to your account, do it on Techmatics winning. The next thing to do to increase your automations, increase your sales is to turn on what's called this missed call text back. Now, if you haven't yet purchased a phone number and connected that into your Techmatics account, book a paid call with one of our tech experts. It's only 50 bucks. They will help you purchase a phone number. They will help connect that to your Techmatics account so that you can start receiving calls that guess what? your bot is going to manage. <laughs> so what um, do you do if you're, I don't know, up on a roof, if you're a tradie, if you're standing on a stage as a speaker, if you're running a workshop, if you're a course creator and your phone rings and you miss it, that is a missed opportunity. It's a missed lead. And you don't want that happening. <laughs> you work so hard to do your marketing. So we're gonna turn on a feature called missed call text back in your Techmatics account. This will fire off automatically when somebody calls you and it either goes to voicemail or you miss the call. It's actually going to text them back instantaneously. And you'll see here, and um, the trigger is that a call was missed. Your next step is that you wait a few minutes or five minutes, so it doesn't look like a bot. And then you send an SMS back saying, hey, sorry, I missed you. I'm gonna make this bigger for you guys to see. Um, hey, sorry, I missed you. This is what you got here. I, I was very busy up speaking on stage or delivering a workshop. <laughs> is, there, is there anything I can help you with? What questions did you have? And then because they've now replied to you on that text message, and because you turned on your AI bot over here, your system is now going to start a conversation with them. So they might text back and go, I was just wondering what your prices are for X, Y, and Z. Your bot's gonna go, cool, no worries. To get the pricing for my coaching program, go to this link. Would you like to book a call with Sarah? Here's the link to her calendar. So you've now got your incoming calls and inquiries being answered for you by the mystical text back. So again, um, to do this, you're gonna go into automations and workflows. We have a template already available in there for you. If you go to create a workflow, you're going to find our preset recipe here called auto missed call text back. Press select on that one and it's gonna be pretty straightforward for you to then just edit this, okay? So uh, the trigger is already there for you. It's a missed call. So if um, that missed call came in, 
You don't need to edit this. It's done for you in that template already. Um, you then have the option to leave a slight delay. So you get to decide, you know, how many minutes, like one minute, how many minutes, hours, days do you want to wait? You choose that frequency by just editing it. Um, you can assign it to a particular staff member if you have a team. You don't need to assign it to anyone. If you don't have a team, you might want to click on this and just press delete that action. You can add a tag if you want to, like Mr. Cool. Um, this person called, but Mr. Cool. Um, or delete it if you don't want it there. Then you send your SMS. So click on the SMS box and there's already a bit of pre-filled um, stuff in there for you that you can go in and edit, write whatever you want. Of course, it's your business. How can we help? What were your questions? What did you want to ask? Um, and, you know, I'll get back to you. And then um, basically your bot's going to take over from that point onwards. So <laughs> um, you can add any other actions that you want on here. Uh, that's entirely up to you, but you're going to simply press save. You're going to press publish and boom, that workflow is now in place. That's an automation that's going to, from that point onwards, continuously work for you. This just gets better and better. <laughs> Another way that you are going to automate your business, increase your sales, is to make sure you are using your social media scheduler on Techmatics. This is going to post all of your content that you're creating to all of your channels. And you can even take this one step further by creating what's called RSS-based social media content. So if you are regularly creating blogs or YouTube videos, all you need to do is pull over a link and your social media scheduler will schedule the content that you're posting on your blogs or your YouTube channels automatically for you without you even having to input the posts on your scheduler in the first place. The level of marketing automation and vis visibility that you're going to get without doing any extra work at all from this is more than going to pay for your Techmatics account. <laughs> so please make sure that you're using the scheduler, that you've connected all of your social media accounts very quickly to show you where that is. Underneath your marketing and email section is your social media planner. On the top right hand corner, you have this tiny little settings icon. Click on the icon. This is where you're gonna connect all of your social media channels, okay? So just press connect a new account, connect your Facebook, connect your groups, connect your pages, connect your Insta, connect your LinkedIn, connect your Twitter, connect your TikTok, right? You just click, 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 click. They're all gonna connect. Then once they're all connected, you can go in, add a new post, and this is where you can just choose which one of your social media channels you want this particular post to go to. In the post box, you have the option to schedule that post to go out on a particular day. But if you want to completely automate this with your RSS feed for your blog or your YouTube channel, you press add a new post, RSS post, and all you do is put in the feed for your RSS. Now, if you guys want to use your blog, and you want all of your blogs that you publish to then automatically go out across your social media schedule, your blog feed is usually yourwebsite.com forward slash feed. So do check with your web host what it is, but usually um, it's yourwebsite.com forward slash feed, okay? Now it will look like, you'll know if you've got it right because it will look like this, okay? It will look like a whole bunch of HTML code. You just need to copy the URL, and this is my blog, for instance. And inside your Techmatics account, you just paste in that feed URL and choose which social pages you want your blogs to be shared to. And you'll see it will pull over the title of the blog, the direct link to the blog. It will suck in the thumbnail that is attached to that blog. And that's the thumbnail that will show in the social media image card. And you can even add some text here to end the post with. So, um, you know, it could say something like book a call um, or like, subscribe and follow, you know, subscribe and follow, whatever you want it to be. Whatever you type in there, as you can see, is what's going to be added to the end of the post. How often do you want your content published on social media? If you're posting regularly, you might want to post every day. Um, you might want to leave it, you know, every couple of days, couple of weeks, whatever you want it to be. How many posts do you want to pump out <laughs> per update? Um, entirely up to you. You're then just going to press create post and that will now automatically share all of my loud phones that will automatically share any blog posts that I publish on my blog will automatically distribute across my social media. Amazing. Now for a YouTube mm -hmm. RSS feed, how do you find the YouTube RSS feed? Let me go grab this for you. 
YouTube RSS. I'm just going to show you the formula for this. Um, and perhaps Nat, um, we can, oh, where's my YouTube one? Bear with me. Uh, YouTube. YouTube RSS feed. Okay, maybe uh, we can pop this in the comments for you. To find your YouTube RSS feed, what it is, first of all, is you first have to have this link. Okay, so we will put this in the chat. In fact, I'll drop this in the chat box on Zoom for people who are live right now. And um, people who are on Facebook, Nat, if you wouldn't mind just, uh, oh no, copying that from the chat into the Facebook live stream. Um, you must have this URL first. The second bit that you add after this equals is your channel URL, the actual ID for your YouTube channel. So when you have that preliminary part plus the ID of your unique channel, that's your YouTube RSS feed. So by adding both your blog feed and your YouTube feed to your social media scheduler, you are completely automating your social media scheduling like that amazing right this just gets better and better absolutely fun and is going to really take up your visibility now i am going to finish up our session there i do have lots more tips for automating your business and sticking it all on autopilot but hopefully that's given you plenty of things to stick on your to-do list right now i'm just going to double check the chat here just to make sure i haven't mess missed anything in particular uh diet uh diet Debs is saying this is gold. Um, it's been really, really good listening to this and really, really helpful. I'm glad it's helping you guys. So if you do have any questions, if you get stuck on anything, when you are inside your Techmatics account, right, you have 24 hour live chat support. Please don't forget this is here. The bottom right hand corner of your screen is a little tiny purple chat bubble. If you click on that and press chat, right? 24 hours a day, we have live real human beings on this chat support. Okay. If you are stuck, you can also ask here if you can jump on a Zoom call with them, if you're just not getting the communication that you need. Um, but this, this live chat support should always be your first point of contact, um, getting help with anything on your account. If you um, want to, us to just do this for you, um, go onto the Techmatics website, click on services, and you can book our tech experts by the hour for just $50 to help you get anything done. If you want to create an automation, hire a tech expert for an hour. If you want to get your funnels or websites built or created, hire a tech expert by the hour. Okay, that's what they're there for, to help you do stuff. The best thing about that is they will sit on the call with you as they're doing what you're asking them to do so that you're learning how to do it at the same time as it's getting done. You can't get much better than that for 50 bucks an hour, right? So do go and check that out. Any other questions, you can drop them in the Techmatics Facebook group or email us on support at techmatics.com. Otherwise, happy tech-in. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. See ya.